Hey guys, Trent from the Collective down here at the Turidan Tractor Pool. Uh, we've got Peter here for the Coyote Pulling Team and his mental, mental tractor behind us. Obviously, as you can see, four supercharged motors. Peter, tell me a little bit about it. Start with the motors, what are they? They're a 572 cubic inch Rodec. They're running an 871 high helix blower uh, on alcohol, roughly around 2,000 horsepower each. 2,000 horsepower, so 8,000 horsepower total. What's yep. it weigh? Uh, at the moment, we're about 3.65 tonne, but we've got a, probably 800 kilos on the back. So when it's dry weight Ballast. without... Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to keep it... Yeah, well, our, we, we run on a um, weight class, so oh, right. uh, we run four ton weight class, so we have to get the tractor up to a four ton, yep. and that's what, you know, that that's probably gives us traction, it doesn't matter how much horsepower, we're the open class, yep. so we rely on weight to give us that momentum to get out to the end, so. How long you owned it for, bud? Uh, roughly 18 months, went to Canada in February last year, bought it, then went over in uh, June and competed in Canada for a few tractor pulls over there and then uh, imported it back here. Oh, all right, so this is from Canada originally? Uh, originally in Canada, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, obviously, you've been doing it for longer than 18 months. You don't just sort of step <laughs> straight into this, do you? No. You start with a smaller tractor and no, then sort of work your way up to this, <laughs> yeah. I imagine. Um, well, my family started in 78, 1978, tractor pulling yep. in Australia. So, um, yeah, we've, we've had a fair few tractors over the years. Um, yeah, and I just sort of, I guess, keep love stepping it. up. Yeah, oh, I love the sport, you know, you've just got the horsepower, the, the smell, the alcohol. Yeah. It's probably one of the more wicked ones in Australia too, I'm gathering. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the only four-engine one. So, only yeah. four-engine one. Um, obviously, four engines, four fuel tanks, you go through a lot of fuel. Pretty much, yeah. I'd use probably roughly around about 400 for uh, 400 litres for the day. So each pass, like say for a 19 second pass, I'll be using roughly around about 100 to 150 litres. Yeah, so it chews the juice pretty well. And obviously, yeah, full methanol. Yeah. So yep. no cooling on it at all. It's just no, you know, start it up. That's why it, we run the alcohol to off. keep the cooling. So we run a heap of alcohol in it. So. So what sort of weights do you pull behind this? Uh, the sled, it's a bit hard to tell. The sled's pretty much uh, roughly around about 14 tonne, but it's more uh, friction. So there's a weight box that moves forward onto the skid pan, making it harder to pull. So the idea is actually to get your speed up at the start so you got that because momentum. It's going to slow you down to yeah, the end. Yeah, it, it hits you with a big bang at the end. So. What's it like? Sitting up there, how big are those tyres? That's one question. How big are they? <laughs> they're a um, tractor pull tyre, so they're a 30.5, 32. Uh, they're, well, they were based off a tractor tyre, but they're built for tractor pulling. So, um, yeah, they're pretty much like they don't have the big lugs like a tractor tyre. Yeah. They're cut down, so there's probably only a two, three mil lug. Um, you want wheel speed, you don't want grip because it just. You don't want to get it to bite into the. No, it loads all your drive line up. When you've got yep. 8,000 horsepower in front, it uh, tends to break everything behind, so. Well, speaking of that, what gearbox, like, They're, how, uh, how do you get them to all work into one and, and put drive to those big wheels? Each engine's got a three-plate crower clutch. Yep. Uh, they throw in at about 1,500 RPM. Yep. So each engine started individually. Um, and then once it revs up to 1,500, they all lock up and then there's a big long shaft well, gearbox between the two engines, yep. and then a big long shaft that goes back to a, pretty much just a reverse. So I can just put it into drive or into reverse or neutral, and that's it. So there's no gears. It's just, it's just go. purely yeah, yeah, straight back into the diff. Fair enough. Fair enough. And how? What size diff have you got? Like obviously, uh, it's not just a little nine inch. No, it's a um, <laughs> it's a rock wool diff, but it's all specially built for tractor pulling. So instead of being just a normal truck diff, it's actually a truck housing. Yep. But it's been cut Short. and narrowed. Um, all the uh, planetaries are actually been uh, hardened and lightened. Does it run an axle at all, or is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's yep. a proper axle. Yep. So it's probably yep. like a, it's more like a, a tractor yep. setup. Yep. But it's been specially built for tractor pulling. So the diff center is what they call a, a humpco. So humpco, they specially built lightweight diffs, but a hell of a lot stronger than a normal diff. And so it's a rock wool setup. Yep. And then we run uh, planetaries on the outside. So. Uh, takes the load off the diff. Yep. Um, they're just big axles. Everything's been hardened up to <laughs> handle the horsepower. Have you broken it no. in the 18 months you've owned it? No, no. not yet. No, no. Oh, it's good to hear. <laughs> um, 
obviously you can't do this by yourself. How big a team you got that comes along? You've obviously got a bus behind you, so it's not just one sort of one or two person rig. Uh, no, no. Um, Dale flies down from Queensland to help and then leaves a uh, couple of streets over and um, yeah, now we get a, a, a fair few, effort. fair few come along for a yeah. few days to, so how, to get all set up. How many up. events would you do in a year in Australia, just in Australia? Um, this year I think we've got five meets or something left for the season. So normally, like in a, in a normal season, there's usually probably nine to fourteen, but um, yeah, it's just a few less this year. Yeah. So hopefully next year there might be a, a few more around the countryside. So no worries. All right, nice to meet you, mate. No I hope, hope it goes really well. Um, yeah, we'll see it out there. No worries. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Thank you.